Hey everybody and welcome back to Sam Who Can't or Can. Uh, so, I kind of ran out of content because I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> that's actually kind of slightly rude to say, but uh, YouTube doesn't pay the bills at least as of yet. So, one of these went up on the Sunrise Gecko channel yesterday. So today, uh, this is going up on mine. The original plan was to film some of the Fairy House content. Uh, however, both Kendra and I, Kendra's the one who does, um, who has the video camera, does the editing, uh, has the sound equipment, uh, and I work with her on the Sam, uh, or on the Sam. That's me. I work with her on the Sunrise Gecko channel, where you can watch me fail miserably playing games, which is where the Sam Who Can't Play Games came from, which led to the Sam Who Can or Can't channel. Uh, in case, in case you just stumbled upon me by magic, um, there's actually a little evolution thing that happened there. So, um, anyway, the original plan was to go do some fairy house stuff, uh, cause we're gonna start doing fairy house filming hardcore here soon instead of the random, like, redneck AC or just the random save the aloe, which more of that's coming to. However, I've been really busy at work. I've been really busy at home. I'm working days that I'm not usually working. Um, Kendra and I usually do filming for the Sunrise Gecko channel as well as the Sam Who Can't or Can channel. Um, or Sam Can't or Can channel. Um, and we usually do that filming on Saturdays. Uh, and I've been working the last two Saturdays. She's been pulling overtime at her job. Um, and then my cat had to have surgery. Uh, she had to get some more teeth removed. She's got a condition in her mouth that's killing her teeth. And she just had surgery on Monday. And she just started bouncing back today. Uh, today's the first time she's actually started meowing at me and trying to find me. And she can actually eat her treats. Uh, she's been on, like, what's it called? Though she's been on, like, the senior pureed stuff for the last few days. And getting her to eat has been a fight. So, uh, she's finally starting to eat again. She's finally starting to bounce back. Um, however, that just means that I'm going to be busy at least for another week. Um, but I'm hoping either this weekend on Sunday, maybe, because I can't do it on Saturday. On Sunday, we might be able to get some filming done. But I'm not 100% sure because Kendra's been busting her butt, too. And she might just like a weekend off. Um, so we'll see how that goes. The next step in the fairy house thing, we're actually going to do an outdoor shoot. That's been the other downer. We've had either extremely high heat where we're at 90 some odd degrees. And then with the heat index, which is the humidity outside, uh, the humidity in the air makes it feel hotter than it is. So it feels like it's 112 degrees outside when it's only 96 degrees because the humidity is at like 50% or 60% or 80%. It's, it's been insane. Um, which just makes things more difficult. So, uh, we're going to try to, oh yeah. And it's been raining too. Like it, we went from extreme heat to rain and rain's not good for collecting stuff outside for fairy houses. One of the things that we really want to make sure that we do is dry stuff. And I'm looking for dry deadfall. Um, I don't want to pull green stuff down off the trees because that has to cure and it takes longer. Uh, but if I can find some deadfall that's been dried out for a few days, which is where the big heat might have been helpful if we wouldn't have died trying to get it. Um, cause it's just been dangerous hot outside. Um, th that's where I've been kind of waiting for the summer heat to kick in, dry some stuff out, go either early in the morning or early evening when it starts kind of cooling down because that's a thing that doesn't happen here, <laughs> but we pretend it does. Um, anyway, uh, so we're kind of waiting for a more opportune time to do that because once we do the gathering part, then we can actually sit down because I need some more supplies to make a fairy house. Uh, some of that stuff I can get at a store. Uh, like you can get mosses and stuff at stores and I know you can do decorative rocks and things like that, which we might do something with that. But the branches and the structure and the bark and, and some of the other stuff that I need, the nuts and every the nutshells, the empty nutshells that the squirrels leave, uh, that stuff I have to find outside. So, um, that's the next step before we can film any further on the fairy houses. And then once we do that, you guys are actually going to see me build an entire fairy house over several episodes. Um, and we'll go on to bigger and greater things from there. What? I don't know yet because I'm literally pulling this stuff out of air as I go. Um, 
<laughs> or as needed, like the redneck AC thing. That was totally a need at the time, and, and I'm, I'm really glad I did that because it's been useful. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But anyway, so there's no content going up tonight except for this wonderful vlog saying that I'm sorry to everybody out there because life, the real world, the outer net. Why does traffic have to drive by when I do this? Anyway, back to being dramatic. Life. The real world. The outer net. The scary place where we must venture forth. And where we get things done. And where we go to work to pay the bills. It has been... Chaotic. Anyway. Uh, we'll see you guys again next... We'll see you guys again. We will see you guys again next week because I can speak and you guys all know that that's a lie. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>